of the upgrade to the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Now at CERN there's a huge particle accelerator which is 27 kilometers in circumference. So all the way around is 27 kilometers and, under, and it's 100 meters underground and what they do there is they collide bunches of tiny particles called protons and when they collide together they split the protons apart to find out what's inside the proton. Hello, I'm Nick Templeton and I'm a project and mechanical engineer at Darsbury Laboratory. High Luminosity is a project to upgrade the LHC to its maximum discovery potential. We do this by increasing the rate of proton collisions using crab cavities. This is a diagram of a crab cavity. As the proton bunches um, go inside this structure, they get rotated vertically or horizontally and then come out the other side. This means that um, at the interaction points, we have more overlap, uh, which gives us more data, and we can do better science. I'm the technical team leader for the delivery of the Crab Cavity Cryo Module, which is being built at the Darsbury Lab from 2019 to 2022. Uh, what a cryo module is, is that's what keeps the cavities at their operational temperature. So you have the two cavities, which Nick has previously described, they rotate the proton bunches, but these operate at a cryogenic temperature, minus 271 degrees C. So they need to be kept inside a device called a cryo module. And this consists of an outer vacuum chamber, which works how your thermos flask at home works. So a thermos flask insulates your drink using a vacuum. Um, so this is what that does. So this, there's no, no air in there. This is the outside world. This is the inside in a vacuum. But then um, we got our heat from the sun through the vacuum of space via radiative heat. So then that would also pass through this vacuum. So we need a radiation screen inside, and this is made of copper. And then inside that is the cavities. So you have the outside world at room temperature, say 20 degrees C. Then this shield here is at around minus 200 degrees C. And then these cavities are at minus 271 degrees C. And at that temperature, they're superconducting. There's no resistance in the material at all. My name's Edward Jordan. I'm a recent graduate at STFC at Daresby Laboratory. And my role in this project is to develop the assembly tooling and infrastructure at our lab. So as Nick and Tom have talked about already, the cry module is made up of a lot of very delicate sensitive components, which require very precise alignment and handling. But it's also, when you put it all together, very heavy. So we need a lot of heavy lifting equipment to lift it up and allow people to work around and underneath it. So once the dressed cavities that Tom described earlier arrive from CERN, we need to assemble them, uh, put them together in a clean environment. This is because if the cavities have any kind of dirt on it or imperfections, then when you put all this power into it, there'll be a short circuit and the, the cavities won't function as intended. So it's a very delicate process and will be done in an ISO 4 clean room, which is uh, quite a high standard of cleanliness. Once we've assembled it in there, we've got to move it in this area here to the lifting location, and this is where all of the other thermal shields, magnetic shields, uh, radio frequency couplers will be attached to the cryo module. 